Hello everyone, welcome to the DLA practical series. We will do the practical that is a uh, study of flip flops using IC 7473, 7474 and 7476. In the next video we will study how we can uh, make a counter using this uh, flip flops. So the first one 7473, 7473 this particular IC is nothing but the JK flip flop. Okay. So flip flops they are available in form of IC. So this JK name is from the inventor Jack will be uh, so this JK flip flop is available in various IC packages and these are the applications of JK so shift registers storage registers counters control circuits okay so uh, we we also attach a clock with the flip flops so because we want to synchronize the operations so when the clock is low the input is never going to affect the output state so uh, a clock is nothing but a series of zeros and ones so when the clock is high we will get the change it may depend of course upon the type of flip flop some are some go on negative transition some go on positive transitions okay and this is the block diagram of a jk flip flop as we can see there are two inputs two outputs j and k are the inputs q and q bar so the outputs are always uh, opposite of each other if it is zero this becomes one if this becomes it is one this becomes zero and we have a clock okay this is the truth table so there are two inputs two outputs and we name the states so when both the inputs are zero zero output will not change so if out pre uh, the output remains in the previous state okay so there is no change uh, so because in in terms of in, in case of flip flop is a sequential circuit so in sequential circuit the output depends on the present input as well as previous outputs so when input is zero zero output will not change so there is no change for input 0 1 output becomes 0 1 okay. and for input as uh, 1 0 output becomes 1 0 so because q is 0 in the in the uh, in the second case q is becomes 0 so this is reset and in the third case when input is 1 0 output becomes 1 that is q becomes 1 so that is set state and when both the inputs are 1 1 the output toggles toggles means was it uh, toggle means what uh, if input was 0 1 it becomes 1 0 if it is 1 0 it becomes 0 1 so when we uh, start the clock okay so output will toggle with respect to every clock pulse that we'll see in the simulation so now let us uh, start the simulation and do this particular practical so we open up the multi sim software uh, the very first thing we select the flip flop for that purpose we go to the TTL okay TTL and uh, we type the name of the flip flop so we have 74 LS73 okay so this is the flip flop we have this one I'll just select this one I'll just click ok now see when we uh, select this flip flop we are giving this A B and cancel so actually in that particular 7473 IC there are two flip flops so we can select any of them because that IC contains two flip flops we, we only want one so I'll just click on A okay and I get this A part of the flip okay now I can cancel out okay now uh, for input we need to select the VCC so I come here sources sources and power sources so I select VCC okay I'll just put VCC here okay then uh, we need two switches so switches we go to uh, basic basic and switches DIP SW1 we need two switches actually okay, I'll just put it here another switch here okay now to drive this clock we need a clock voltage you can see this is the clock so we need a clock voltage okay so where to get the clock so click here go in sources in sources in signal voltage sources we can find this clock voltage okay so voltage uh, in signal voltage sources we get clock voltage I just click okay keep it here okay now this clock actually requires a ground connection below so we need to select a ground okay, where to get the ground sources power sources and you can see just uh, above this VCC we have this ground connection this is ground okay, we'll just put ground here okay, this is the ground okay then for output we need probes so I'll take two probes indicator probe so I'll just put one probe here and another probe because there are two inputs now we can go for the connection okay I'll just connect VCC to the switches the two switches okay and this goes here and this connection goes here and then we need this okay this is the clock I connect the clock here okay and this part to the ground okay and this one output Q 
and this one the q bar okay now before starting this okay before running the simulation we'll just uh, adjust the clock frequency because the clock frequency as we can see it is 1 kilohertz so when it toggles it will toggle in such a way that we won't be able to make out 0 1 1 0 so for that 1 1 input we need to set the toggle state so i'll just click double click here and you can see the frequency is set as 1 kilohertz is 1 kilohertz i'll set it to 1 hertz or no, 10 hertz sorry this is hertz so adjust this to hertz hz and this is 10 okay now we are done now we can run the simulation when you turn on the simulation we will get any of the random state so we are what we are getting is 0 1 okay now i will just make this as 0 and this as 1 so for 0 1 i am getting 0 1 now let me take it for 1 0 or 1 0 we are getting this okay okay uh, actually uh, we need to actually connect this clear this is the clear input okay this is active low so uh, Whenever we are doing this practical, we need to, uh, I'll just stop this, we need to connect this to VCC. If we don't connect it to VCC, it will actually uh, clear the input. So, in order for the proper functioning of this uh, JK flip-flop 7473, I this clear input should be connected to VCC. Now, let us start again. So, for 0, 0, we are getting random input as output, output as uh, because uh, we, the input is 0, 0. So, we get random outputs 0, 1. Now, for uh, let us see for this is 0 1 for 0 1 we are getting 0 1 okay now what about 1 0 we make it 1 and 0 so 1 0 this is 1 0 so 1 0 we are getting 1 0 okay now let us start again okay so i am keeping input as 1 0 um, i am getting output as 1 0 now i make it as 0 0 okay for 0 0 i am getting 1 0 itself so what we see that uh, for 0 0 whatever the output previously was 1 0 we got 1 0 now let us uh, now reset the flip flop okay i will just make this as 1 and that as 0 so it becomes now now for 0 1 i get 0 1 now again i make it as 0 0 for 0 0 i am getting 0 1 it remains in the previous state only so for 0 0 output remains in the previous state if the previous output state was 0 1 it remains 0 1 if it is 1 0 it remains 1 0 let us check it again I am just making it 1 0 I get 1 0 I make it 0 0 it remains in 1 0 state now I make input as 0 1 I am getting output as 0 1 and when I make it 0 0 it remains in the previous state that is 0 1 now let us see what happens when both the inputs are 1 1 when I make both inputs at 1 1 okay and just leave it now it is toggling with respect to this clock it is toggling now because for this uh, properly proper function of this toggling state i made this as 10 kilohertz if it had been 1 kilohertz we wouldn't have it uh, able to see this toggling properly so that's it how the jk flip flop works now let us go for the second ic now next is ic 7474 so this is actually nothing but a d flip flop so a d flip flop is the most simplest uh, flip flop generally if we just take one input and one output that's all and sometimes two outputs are also available in general we take just one output so one input and one output so it can use it is used to produce delay and it can store one bit of data so we need a clock to synchronize the operation of the flip-flop and uh, the flip-flop can be used to construct registers now registers they are the fastest available memory in the microprocessor systems so this is the 7474 IC okay this is the block diagram so here we have one input one output so when input is 0 output is 0 input is 1 output is 1 this is the clock and we'll design this on the multi sims and uh, just see the confirm the operation okay now we can just continue with the same circuit I will just delete this part because I don't need this one this was the 7473 I will just uh, delete this IC okay and just need one switch I'll just delete this particular switch okay and now uh, I also know, uh, need just one probe okay now just I select this uh, IC okay TTL so it is 7474 okay 7474 so this is the IC 7474 you also it will ask us uh, like which one so I'll just take a part because there are two flip-flops so I'll just select this okay and then cancel it out okay now we'll just do the connections so this input because there is only one input and we are just interested in one output so i just took one probe okay and then we connect the clock this is the clock okay i just clock connect the clock the frequency is 10 uh 10 hertz now one more thing we should take care of this is this is preset and clear pin both should be connected to vcc otherwise we won't get proper functioning so this is vcc i'm just connecting the preset and clear this both pins are connected to vcc 
okay now let us start the operation I'll just turn it on okay now input is 0 output is 0 input is 1 output is 1 so for 0 we get 0 we get 1 uh, when we put input as 1 we get output as 1 so this is how the D flip flop works now the last IC that is 7476 7476 IC is also a JK flip flop as we have done in 7473 the same thing is done for 7476 only the difference is that in that particular 7476 we have a preset and clear pins that's the difference okay so that's all for this particular session okay you can verify that 7476 similarly as we have done for 7473 okay so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching